Good morning. Today I'll talk about logit and probit model. Logit and probit regression is a model where dependent variable is qualitative. It means dependent variable is categorized. If dependent variable is categorized into two parts, it becomes logit or binary logistic regression and if dependent variable is categorized in more than two categories, it will be multinomial logit regression. When dependent variable is quantitative, our objective is generally to estimate its expected or mean value. But if dependent variable is qualitative, then we find the probability of something happening. Therefore, qualitative response models are often known as probability models. If you talk about the first equation, which says that P is nothing but probability, probability of Y equal to one given condition of X equal to G B O plus B one X one plus B K X K, which is nothing but G into B O plus X B, where G is a function considering on value strictly between 0 and 1 for all real numbers J. This equation talks about the equation of logit model which says G J equal to exponential of J upon 1 plus exponential of Z, where G is treated as the logistic function that is between 0 and 1 for all real numbers Z, and G is the cumulative distribution function for a standard logistic random variable. This equation talks about the equation of probit model, which says gj equal to phi z, where phi z is the standard normal density. In the probit model, g is the standard normal cumulative distribution function, which is presented in this equation and we have already seen. So here, difference between logit model and probit model lies. It means in logit model G is simply you can say cumulative distribution function for logit. It means it is logit distributed in terms of cumulative distribution function whereas in probit model, G is a standard normally distributed function. This graph belongs to logistic function. It means in logit regression or logit model, the graph, it, it seems to be s shape curved because it is not linear. There are some terminologies which are associated with logit regression and we have to go ahead these terminologies while interpreting the result of logit regression. First is odd. It refers to ratio of probability of happening to probability of not happening. It means odds increases probability also increases and vice versa. Probability ranges from 0 to 1 whereas odds range from 0 and positive infinity. Number 2 is pseudo R square. 
This pseudo R square is used to measure the binary regression. So simply it is nothing but R squared of linear regression model. It has been suggested by Mac Fadden in 1974 and it is calculated using this formula 1 minus LUR upon LO. So here LUR is nothing but log likelihood ratio of rest unrestricted model and LO is log likelihood of restricted model. Third is likelihood ratio and that is very famous in terms of LR test. This test is based on the same concept as the F test is in linear model. It considers the difference in the log likelihood functions for unrestricted and restricted model. It is calculated using the formula 2 into LUR minus LR. So here LUR is the log likelihood function of unrestricted model and LR is the log likelihood of restricted model. This LR is also known as LO. Then null deviance and residual deviance. Null deviance considers the model based on only intercept whereas residual deviance is based on the intercept plus predictors. That's why null deviance is associated with restricted model and residual deviance is associated with unrestricted model. In next video, I'll be talking about how to apply logit and probit model in R-Studio. Thank you.